gentlemen, the winner of tonight's competition, MPGN 2014, all the way from Yenagua Bayasa, please welcome Miss Aquaibom. Another typical example of how dreams can come to pass is the wonderful story of former model Ihioma Nadi, who came from a humble background to be the winner of the most consistent pageant in Africa, MPGN. This year's edition, which took place in Bielsa State for the second time in a row, was viewed by millions on television and the internet. Ihioma's inspiring story reveals the simplicity and courage that can change lives. She sits down to share her background and future plans as the most beautiful girl in Nigeria. The title never comes without challenges. A life-changing experience also packs responsibilities and goals that have to be met. We need to take to heart how this can be trying for a young lady. I'm sure there's been tons of interviews you've done for a couple of days now. People asking you, you know, questions and all and I don't know. I'm, I don't think anybody's used to questions on a daily basis, especially from the press. Because yeah. press gets into your mind. They ask you questions, your life changes. So how is that, you know, transformation from your normal everyday life to wearing that tiara and that sash on a daily basis? <laughs> well, um, from the minute my name was called out, I was over the moon. I, I don't think I was thinking straight and the way, I, the way I walked, mm -hmm. <laughs> left and right, say thank you to the judges and everyone, was just not uh, queenly, I must say. Because <laughs> I couldn't put myself together. Yeah, okay. And this past few days have been very different for me. It's, I just don't wake up and do anything I want to do, you know. I wake up and I literally have to call Victoria and say, okay, what's happening today, what's okay. going on? And I get so many calls or I go to a restaurant to get food and it's like, Ihoma, Ihoma, is that you? And I'm like, yeah, it's me, you know? Okay. So it's different. It's, it's, my life, you know, immediately changed and I'm trying to adjust, trying to get used to it. And so far, uh, I'm getting used to it. I'm adapting. It crosses everybody's mind. You know, the possibility to win and lose is a constant once you get into a competition. So for you, if you had that in your mind, what was your plan for your life after you get the crown? Well, first things first, there was a contestant in camp that I always used to ask everyone, are you ready? Are you ready? Like she literally went to everyone to ask if everyone's ready. And when she said, am I ready? I'm like, I'm definitely ready. Like, I want to be MBG. And she's like, hmm, are you sure? You know? And I'm ready. Like, I, I, in camp, I, was, I knew I was going to be ready. And now that I've won, I'm, I'm ready to, you know, take on and go for my international pageants. I'm ready to do this. It's, okay. it's what I wanted. It's what I signed up for. So I can't wait. From before MBGN, what was your life like? What were you doing? School? You know, what was your life like? I was just a, a student and a model. Like, I just used to model in South Africa. I used to, um, I studied business management, still studying business management, sorry. And I was a simple girl, very simple. I could go two, three days without makeup, you know. And my life was just, I'm very homely. So I'd be at home, you know, watch TV, go to school, come back, go for my shoots, go for castings. Very simple and very average, nothing spectacular. Okay. And now I have to be all glammed up, mm, 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 looking at myself all the time, mm, mm, you know. All right, Hioma, you tell me now the difference between pageantry and modeling for you because, you know, they're two different worlds, but at the same time, they're sort of really related. Exactly. So did you ever see pageantry coming in anywhere with your modeling background? Yes, I, I actually did. Modeling is more adventurous. It can be edgy. It can be rough. You mm. can have any look that, you know, they want to make you look. But um, pageantry is more sophisticated, you know, mm. ladylike covered up, you know, all of that. So that's definitely, that's the difference between modeling and pageantry. But I, growing up, people used to tell me, you look like you could be a beauty queen. You have that beauty queen look. Even when I used to go look for agencies, like, oh, you look, you look like a beauty queen, you know? And I just look at myself and I'm like, you know, I actually look like a beauty queen. And I just know that I definitely want to be in a beauty pageant. I just okay. didn't plan when. I didn't plan what year. I just... I just, I just saw myself, you know, getting into it. Okay. Well, why MBGN? Was it a specific reason why you tried MBGN? Because there are other pageants, obviously, in the country. So why MBGN? Because, well, MBGN is the most beautiful girl in Nigeria. 
and that's the beauty queen I've always wanted to be. Mm-hmm. And um, I used to hear about it. I heard when Anna won and everything, and I just used to be like, oh wow, she looks good. You know, it's it's something every girl really actually awesome. wants. Honestly, mm-hmm. every girl decides to want to be a beauty queen. Okay. So when I heard about it, I'm like, okay, 2014 has to be my year. I have to try. I have to really buy this woman and do it. And okay. I did it. Okay. How much work did you put into yourself, right, regarding getting yourself ready for the whole MBG thing before you even went to camp? Did you do anything on your own? Any form of research? Well, I did. I looked at all, you know, the past shows. I looked at all the attires, the questions that could be asked, what happens in camp. I watched all of those on YouTube. So I, you know, I knew the talent show was something that had to come up. So I started practicing my own mm-hmm. little routine here and there, you know, and standing straight, all of that. I had no idea. Actually, before, before I did MBGN, I didn't know that beauty queens had to wear that ballerina Cinderella kind of dress. So when I looked at them, I'm like, oh, wow, really? I just wasn't informed so much. All right. And I had to do all of that research. And I must say, I got groomed quickly. I okay. put myself together. Now, you have access to internet already, right? Yes. So obviously, you could get on the internet to get a lot more information. Yes. Now, for a lot of other girls out there who are still very confused, and they love, like you said, it's every girl's dream. They want to be on stage, wear beautiful yes. clothes, don't have tiara and a sash, you know, okay. want to be addressed as a queen. Now, what would you tell them in terms of getting set? trying you know taking that opportunity it's a lifetime opportunity make up your mind you are here right now you've experienced a whole lot you still have ahead of you so much what would you tell those girls who are still very naive some of them it's basically no information because of the society or the kind of parents or house they're coming from well everyone everyone has their own opinion about beauty pageants Mm -hmm. for any girl who wants to be a beauty queen and wants to enroll in competitions she should definitely ask people around her. She should ask, um, try and contact ex-beauty queens or current beauty queens. If you don't have internet access, you can ask your teacher at school. You can um, ask your parents to ask who has a daughter who's done beauty pageants at work. You know, try and get information around you and weigh out, you know, your possibilities and what's, you know, what's going to work for you. You can even write emails. You know, try and. Keep your, yeah, try and explain, try and get people to explain to you the whole, the way it works. Mm-hmm. And that's the best idea, that's the best way to go about it. Do you have, you know, what's, what's the twist to whatever you're doing that's similar to something else some other queen has done? That's basically it. Well, mine is pretty different. Um, mine is on child trafficking. I want to try and eliminate child trafficking. Open, no, work with an agency that is involved with child trafficking. And there are only 26 states out of 36 states that actually have banned child trafficking. Mm -hmm. So what's happening with the other states is what I want to know. How we can subside this whole child trafficking. I want to get children off the streets begging. I have their parents taking them from one car to the other begging. Uh, Child labor, sexual exploitation, all of those are, it's, so close to my heart it just looks so wrong when especially when I'm in the street or I'm in the car and I see people begging and their kids what are they doing on the streets when they can be in school so I want to work with agencies who can help me with this so that we can have a bigger force and try and work on this as well as giving back to orphanages that's number one definitely you can't stop giving to orphanages there are kids there that have nobody to look up to. I want to make sure that they can look up to me and be like, you know what, there's still hope. There's still God, you know. I'm not abandoned, I'm still alive, you know. So I will work with Queen, as you may have said. So it's it's nice when you have people to work with. To work when with. You, yeah, it's easier and it's it's more, you get, you gain more knowledge, you can correct one another, you know. So I want to work with her in that, so we can give back to people because we're here because of God, not because of any anything else. So let's let's share the love. Okay, now talk. This is a twi bomb. Okay, now talk to me about family. How did family accept this? Was there any questions that popped up when you decided to get in the first time? And you know, how has been the reception ever since you got the crown? Well, when I told my mom about it, my mom is very supportive. So when I told her, she's like, definitely. I don't see any reason why anyone would want to stop you from doing MBGN. 
I told my dad about it. He was like, what are you going to do there? What do you know they're doing there? You know, all of that. Well, because of my mom and how supportive she was and my sisters, it was easy for me to just buy the form, screen, tell them what's happening. So I wasn't hiding it from anyone, really. Okay. Everyone knew about it. And after I got crowned, my mom was in tears. I keep saying, she said to me, she doesn't know who cried more. Really? <laughs> if she cried more, oh, I cried more. Because she watched it on the online streaming. So mm. she was excited. She's, she's, too, she's happy. She's okay. filled with joy. Okay, so has um, treatment her at home gone VIP style? <laughs> like if you were told to do the dishes, do the chores and all. And you know, but now there's a lot of respect. Yeah, yeah. Has, is, has like, that happened? I, I'm like, let me do the dishes. Like, no, 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 no. It's okay, you know, we'll do it. I know it only lasts for a week. Don't exactly. worry, next week It'll be back. I'll be back to scrubbing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Miss World. You know when you hear the name, the title, Miss World, it sounds big. It's like you're going into a competition where you're wrestling people from all over the world. What is, what's your game plan for Miss World? What kind of information do you have regarding Miss World? Do you see Miss World as, okay, MBJ was massive. Miss Roll is going to but be gigantic. Uh, exactly. How do you perceive Miss Roll? How are you getting ready? When I think of Miss Roll, I'm like, oh my God. You know, because now you're dealing with people around the world. You're not just dealing with uh, girls in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to have different people that speak different languages and you have to communicate with them. It's, it's bigger. I mean, in Nigeria, the girls, we have more or less the same kind of upbringing you know yes. you have that traditional way but that's completely different so it's big it's scary it's you know how am i going to handle it how am i going to do this but with time i'm i have the best coach so i'm prepping very well it will be by god's grace again that i will i will win <laughs>